and all the pills are all totally real. <laughs> I don't make, you know, drugs art, I, I, because I just make art. The pills that I use are the old school pills. It's not about anything that happened beyond the the slump, the e slump of the nineties. It's it's a powerful memory. It's a powerful thing, and these are symbols of that. And I wanted to find a way of suspending that moment forever. People are constantly saying, well, they're real in the pills, and you're going, you know what, it doesn't matter, because you're not going to be taking it. The whole point is it's not drugs, it's art. I think that Britain is a better place for the introduction of ecstasy. No other drug in our history uh, that's had that kind of influence. There's only LSD in California in the 60s that had that bigger cultural impact, and I think ecstasy is our LSD. When, to watch people stand in front of a piece and the way that they feel when they stand in front of 10,000 pills, some of them see it as potential you know, prison sentence, some people may see it as a load of money, some people may see it as a dangerous thing. You know, everybody's got their narrative, nobody just turns up and goes, oh. One of the reasons uh, that, uh, that I work under a pseudonym is, is because I don't want to talk about the artist per se. It's, it's a, because the more you know about an artist, the more you judge the work by them, and, and it's, it shouldn't be. We avoid you know, the art um, establishment because they're a bunch of cons.